Okay, so what we were doing with the fit ball was working on the back court, reacting to balls that come off the block. And you know, one of the skills in playing in the back row is being able to read the play. That's skill number one. Number two, and you see this with at, at all levels, is being stopped on hit of contact. And this drill teaches you to be stopped and then to react to where the ball goes off the fit ball. And the great thing about the fit ball is that it absorbs a little bit. Uh, the ball can go in a multitude of different directions, different heights, and it makes it a good situation for the backcourt players to be able to, re to react to a ball after it's hit a block. And, you know, there's all sorts of things people use. They use baseball gloves, I've seen snow shovels, brooms, you know, there's all sorts of things. I, I like the, f the fit ball because it just gives that random area that uh, the ball can go. And also, it's a reasonably big target, so for a coach, it's easy to hit the ball off the fit ball. You know, the hardest workout for anyone is the person holding the fit ball. You got somebody who needs some shoulder work, then get them to hold that fit ball up for 10 minutes. That's a, it's a lot of work. And uh, it, it's a great drill for back row players. We, we did it here earlier that you saw with just the middle back running the ball down, but you can have three in the back row. And really, you know, the focus for you as a coach is making sure that they, the backcourt players, are stopped when the ball's being contacted. Now, reading is a skill that happens prior to the contact of the ball. You see the angle of the hitter, you see the, the depth of balls off the net or any gaps in the block. But once that happens and you've picked up the spot you want to be in the back row, you've got to be stopped when the hitter hits the ball. And this is a good drill for the next part of being a backcourt player.